starts to get a little bit sketchy. Because when you think of a rocket, what do you say? You look back at my, you, you can look back at my videos from last year. What am I saying? Child support is a racket. What do I, what do I mean when I say child support is a racket, right? In so many cases, it's like a money scheme. It's a money grab. And so that's what the whole racketeering was supposed to combat. It was set to give his child's mother, Brianna, $11,000 a month in child support payments for the three kids they have together. The backstory is this. Rick Ross has been set to give his child's mother, Brianna, $11,000 a month in child support payments for the three kids they have together. Now, if they have any costs for the kids that exceed over $7,500, and extracurricular activities, Rick Ross will have to pay for that additional to the $11,000. Now, personally, I feel like the $11,000 for three children, depending on her mortgage and where she's living, may not be enough money. I feel as though he could have gave her more money because having three kids living in a certain area, giving them to a private school, all those costs add up. Nobody else agrees with me. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, I was recording that whole thing and didn't have the record on the mic on. But anyways, y'all yeah, heard the story. Rick Roth, baby mama, only getting 11k a month. Uh, that's 3,600 per kid. That's 132,000 a year. And a lot of women were in their feelings, obviously standard. Um, Kendra G -G -G, no edge G felt some type of way about this thing. Things like they can't go to private school and they live somewhere and it's not gonna cover the mortgage and. Is that his responsibility? Is that what child support is for? I didn't think so. Shout out to the lead attorney. I remember I just watched actually the info, the full video, not just the clip, of the first time he went on the Plea Network, and he was talking about um, how a lot of times in our community, um, because there's no wedding rings and marriages, there's just child support that is being used to uh, compensate for the lack of alimony. Um, because you know, we're not, it, 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 that's, that's, it's not money she's not going to get because she wasn't a wife, so she's not entitled to half his anything because they weren't married. But this is a loophole around that is to give a whole bunch of crazy numbers. You see the athletes who pay twenty two thousand a month. I'm sure Brittany Grinder or Grinder or whatever the thought name is, she's gonna be getting a couple stacks a month, like for one kid. She's probably gonna get more for one kid than he's paying for all three. Um. But yeah, the system shouldn't be made for that. Should, if the kids are okay and fine, which I think $132,000 a year for three kids is absolutely fine. Uh, every state is different. One chick said in the shave room comments on Facebook, she said, uh, they supposed to be able to live the lifestyle that the father lived. That's when they were married, ma'am. <laughs> That's when you were a wife and you're entitled to shit, ma'am. She didn't do that. So I don't know what state you talking about or where they said that law was at, but every state is different. Some are better, some are worse. Apparently, he's in a state. I know that Florida was supposed to be a state that you want to get married in as far as their alimony situation, but I don't know how the child support situation is. Apparently, I'm assuming he's in Miami where his main address is. But yeah, do I think your man is getting away scot-free or do I think that he's he should pay more just because he makes more, right? Like, that's the female logic. I, don't, I think that that's a fair number. The kids won't be starving. They'll be fine. Um, this money is not for her to buy a mortgage for her mortgage or for her rent. It's for the children, like specifically for them. That's enough money for them to have a college fund and all this other stuff. And the crazy kicker is because the woman keeps saying that they won't be able to go to private school. Like, y'all just assume that that's where they're going to go. <laughs> y'all kids don't even go to private school. You're trying to send his to private school. But that's not even possibly true because he has to pay for anything that costs over $7,500. So. Additionally, I'm sure she's gonna go out there and find a private school that costs specifically eight G's or whatever that he has to pay that, whether it be monthly, any extracurricular activity. So I'm sure she's gonna find a sport to throw them all in that's gonna get him to cost spin bread, which I'm sure is not gonna hurt him or affect him at all. But I'm sure she's gonna take advantage of that. Why would she not? And don't get it twisted. Like I've had, you know, I understand in situations things happen if dudes are complete dead beats and not doing anything at all i understand women wanting to rape them but i've seen both sides i have a friend right now going through a divorce and she didn't want to go to the man she wanted to you know get a you know hurt the lawyers and do the agreement thing without involving the court system and she tried to do that 
and dude was walling out and he has a business she could get half literally um alimony child support for three four kids in new york there's a actual uh, a calculator on new york website it's an estimate but still it tells you how much you can roughly get a month for um the kids here is and it's close it's pretty accurate and i showed her that i'm like yo <laughs> He acting dumb. He doing more stupid stuff. He not agreeing to the agreement that you made with your lawyers that he said he would do so that you didn't have to go to the courts. He tried to lowball her in the beginning and only wanted to pay for the rent and nothing else. And yet he had three, four children. I was like, get him, get him, sis. Go to your court. And she, and she again, she does not want to do that. She tried to avoid that, and yet he took her kindness for weakness. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but so it's not this inherent innate bias where it's like. I'm going to defend the man no matter what. If you ain't doing shit at all, if you're trying to lowball her to the point where you only wanted to pay the rent every month and that was it and not food and all these other things, like, nah, B, handle your business. But, again, she could have gotten, like, what she wanted was fair. What she wanted compared to his income was the rent to be paid and a couple hundred dollars every other month separately. And that's it. She didn't want too much. And he tried to play with that. So, yeah, I get it. There's some dudes out there who are slimy and not dealing with the agreements, whatever. But her agreement was, I, I thought it wasn't nothing. I mean, she's already looking for a new job. Or she started you know, working. She was a stay-at-home wife. Again, entitled to half the business. Entitled to child support, alimony, and everything he was paying for before, during the marriage. He had to continue to pay. She didn't go that route. She wants to get out there, get a job, and get him out of her life as much as possible. But I was like, yo, once he didn't follow through and came late with some payments, I'm like, get him. Get him, sis. But yeah, that's just what do I think? Um, do I think Rick Ross pulled the fast one? Do you think he got over? Did he get the finesse on? Or, you know, um, I don't agree with the comments of the majority of the women and some of the same dudes is that, you know, he makes more, so he should pay more. Or these dumb Negro logics of the only people who think this is okay only make such and such as amount of money a month. Like, those kids will be fine. They will get $132,000 a year for the next 18 years. They're going to be fine. They're in the top 5% in that household. Okay? They're not going to be eating oodles and noodles and whatnot. They can go to a decent school. Right? Wherever they live at. And I'm sure she's going to take advantage of that whole anything that costs additionally over 7500 He got to pay for it as well that's fair to me like it shouldn't be based off how much you make it should be boom they're gonna be okay they're gonna be good they're not gonna need for nothing fine and if the housing and children's a problem then give him the custody of the children <laughs> and give up that child support which she's not gonna do or have joint custody to where the child support should be cut even more because the kids are 50 percent with you and 50 percent of the time with him but they don't want to have that conversation but anyway, that's my video. I just thought it was interesting that Kendra No Edges G said she feels some type of way about the amount because she feels that he makes enough to pay more, even though the amount is enough to take care of those kids, to house them, to feed them, to clothe them, which is not part of child support. It's not to pay rent and pay bills. That's not what it's for. Anyways, that's my video. What do you think? I'm out. Let's talk about it.